So three days back, I had put up this story where I asked you guys to ask me as many questions as you want related to design because I'm going to be making this YouTube video right here. So on my iPad, I have about 16 to 18 questions, which um, I have chosen these questions from the 200, 300 of y'all, mainly because these are all the repeated questions. Like a lot of you guys chose these questions specifically. And I I also get these questions in my DMs in the comments. So I was like, why not make a proper video and, you know, just answer it, take my opinion and yeah let's do it so question number one is it mandatory to do a course for graphic design or i can learn from youtube honestly i didn't start with a course i'm talking about my experience i didn't start with any graphic design course i had gone to that one academy called mac mac i think most of y'all uh, know about this academy where i learned basics of maya and max it was 3d modeling ka course like three month ka course tha. very interesting and if i continue karta, i wouldn't have been a logo designer designer I would have been a game developer or just a set developer or a product designer or something like that so I sort of liked it but I left it because my interest was my animations are all I was very very keen into animations pehle. so yeah so I would say honestly don't restrict yourself if you don't have course for this course I can't afford a course then I won't learn graphic design okay I literally learned everything from YouTube everything from Skagit na bhi abhi tak sikha hai and mein sikhte aa raho I'm not stopping myself I'm still learning every single day from past videos from watching my own videos so yeah don't stop learning don't have an excuse ki course karna hai usse graphic design sikho ge no you can watch my videos you can watch so many other people's videos sab ke link description mein hoge all those people Christo Abby Connick Will Patterson all those people I keep repeating ki ye log ke videos dekho raat ko uh, when you're having dinner or whenever you're with your laptop just watch these people's video and you will really understand what graphic design is how to get started and how you can make a career with graphic design question number two suggest some good books for graphic designers actually i have quite a lot of books right here with me so let me just show you that okay so these are some books which i have right here in my studio i also have those two giant books uh, how to and logo modernism i think kaafi log ne dekha hoga so this book right here designer's art is by bruno munari and very very interesting book all about art and design and yeah i would definitely recommend you all to check this out then okay this is not a design book it's a book i designed and we have oh i love this book stop stealing shape it's all about typography how to find the correct font how to work with typography this one right here ye sab ka main links nahi but i just put the name of all these books in the description yaar bahut sare books hai isme se another one of my favorite books um obviously design of everyday things for ui ux designers and this book right here um I'm not sure if you can find this in India. This is by a fellow designer called James Martin. He wrote this book. Like, look how beautifully this book is designed. Like, look at this. It's it's a very, very like, <laughs> look at this. Very interesting book. And it's all about logos, about his journey, how he was a drug addict and how he was, you know, uh, bullied by people. And then how he transformed his life to become a logo designer and a very very well known person he recently did a live video with chris do as well and he i think he's also going to attend the adobe max joe i think it's happening right now so yeah these are some of the design books i have in my studio i'm gonna link all the ones which i have read and i would only recommend you the books which i have read in the description here i can't a few moments later okay question number three how to recognize fake clients from real clients um uh, th this is the reason why i charge 50 percent advance for all my clients i tell them ki i won't start the work before you give me an advance um an incident happened with ashni grower where i started the work i sent him options but then he sort of ghosted me ashni if you're watching i'm he's not watching this okay <laughs> So dekho, kya karo? take 50% advance from the client, then start the work, get on a call with them, start the work. Once the work is done, tell them after the remaining amount comes in my 
comes with me i will send the files to you on drive and you have everything editable and everything with you so that is how you also need to sort of maintain a good relation with them so they are comfortable uh, paying you 50 percent upfront you need to have a sort of social proof which i have so clients do, some clients just pay me full upfront 100 percent because i am there on instagram i have a social proof kind of a thing so that, that is sort of an advantage which we have which i have but yeah always always take 50 percent advance if not 50 percent if they're not ready do 25 then 50 and then 25 so that's how you can gradually work towards it um how to how you balance your work and other things very very interesting question नहीं होता बैलेंस इट डजेंट हैपन वो मैं दिखाता हूँ कि आई एम एबल टू बैलेंस ऑल दिस बट इट्स वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट समटाइम जैसे कि आज टुडे आई वेंट टू द जिम इन द मॉर्निंग एंड ये वीडियो शूट करना था सो आई डेंट गो टू कॉलेज आई मिस्ड माई कॉलेज आई प्रायोरिटाइज ऑन वन थिंग विच इज़ मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टू मी विच मेक्स मी हैप्पी सो दैट्स हाउ आई डू इट लेट्स से अगर क्लाइंट वर्क है रील शूट करना है कुछ डिज़ाइन करना है कोई मीटिंग है सो आई विल चूज़ वट आई वॉन्ट डू ओके देन आई विल पुट इन माई कैलेंडर कि मुझे ये यही करना बाद में का बाद में देखेंगे इफ द इफ आई डोट गो टू कॉलेज माई अटेंडेंस वॉज हेम्पर्ड एंड ऑल इट्स फाइन आई विल डील विद इट बट आई एम डूइंग वॉट आई लाइक डूइंग एंड आई एम प्रायोरिटाइजिंग ऑन थिंग्स विच आई लाइक डूइंग एवरी सिंगल डे सो to balance your work and uh, with work you have to even balance your like time with your family and friends so the way i do it is i don't take up client work on weekends saturday sunday me slot free rakhta hu wo alag baat hai ki saturday sunday i shoot most of the time and i don't go out with friends because i don't have friends yeah so i'll, I'll tell you the only way is to have your entire work on notion uh, use notion as a software to uh, use google calendar don't use notion ka calendar because google calendar will give you reminders on your phone and it's very easy to navigate notion may have a to do list and if you're not having a to do list have a physical to do list like this which i have dekho mere kal ke sare tasks the maine tick off kiye ek do baki hai jo aaj kar lunga after this video so yeah that that's just how i quickly do it how to connect with people who are already in the design industry so for example let's say you want to connect with me or let's say you want to connect with i don't know ansh mehra so uh, people who are there in the design industry um, the way to connect is one is to um, reach out to them on their emails okay that's like a direct way to connect to them second is just look for events and things they are going for or attending for hai na so if you can get your hands even though the event event is paid if you invest that amount into connecting with someone and let's say that person likes your approach and gives you a job or recommends you to someone else so that's a very very good investment and don't think of ki yaar chalo main event ka paisa le liya 2000 rupees 3000 rupees that's a waste of money it's not you will network with people you will network with designers you will meet them you will ask them questions which you always wanted to when you couldn't because they don't reply to your comments or dms or anything second way i was is um provide them some value okay w what is something that you can provide is valuable to them okay because people in the industry don't have time i'll be very honest they are very busy doing other stuff they don't have time to attend to everyone's call or everyone's messages or meeting so try to find a way where you can provide them some value where you can show them uh, about your services and it all depends what you really want to do do you want to connect with them just essay do you want to work with them do you want to do a project with them it all depends on that so first get to know why you want to connect with them okay Before or even sending them an email why is the thing like why do you want to connect with someone you know it, it's just for time pass or it's just for actual work or you want to get their feedback on something like that so sometimes people do send me emails uh, with uh, their designs and ask me feedback mai reply kar leta hu because um, i like i like replying on feedbacks and stuff like that so yeah just that's two ways how to do it question number 6 how do i calculate my logo design charges okay very interesting questions it's a very subjective thing how you calculate not only logo design but any kind of charges koi bhi service ho charges kaise calculate karo because if you see my entire studio i have spent lakhs of rupees ye light 25000 ka hai this this laptop uh, this mac which i bought was for 1 lakh this table i'm working on is for 40000 this chair to free mein mila but brand ko lagta but still so all these you if you just keep calculating everything your electricity bill your wifi thing the cost will go way up but you don't have to each and individually calculate everything but you have to be mindful about the resources you are working on and spending your money and time on 
when you are creating the logo okay the client won't pay your rent or won't pay your electricity bill or water supply bill okay but you need to make sure you sustain yourself with those clients so let's say agar you are spending 50000 50000 zyada ho gaya let's say if you are spending 10000 rupees a month on your rent or normal kharcha make sure you get four clients who each pay you 5 5000 okay so you at least have double the amount of uh, money and then you spend 10000 and you have 10000 profit so that's how you sort of calculate how many clients you are getting how many you want to work in within a month or within like a quarter and then you sort of set your budget in that way that clients can pay me this much you study the market and study industry rates kya ho rahe google pe search karo what are the industry rates or what are the um, like oh, you ask your friends ask people ki yaar tum log kitna charge karte ho what are the standard rates and all so just sort of research about that and if you think you are more valuable than what other people are providing or what the or any normal person in the industry is providing then try to increase your rates and try to have a very good answer why your rates are high because clients are going to ask you yaar is ka to rate itna hai why are you charging so much you need to have a good answer okay don't justify you know do chris do ne bola tha ki yaar uh, whenever they ask you why do you charge why do you why are you so um, pricey why do you charge so much just say that's just because i do you know just say because i am more experienced and um, you know just justify yourself when they really ask you that why so much money okay but if they are just generally asking why is it so much that's what i do and yeah and whenever you increase your rate uh, often people ask for discounts and you can always lower it to the margin which you have set so there you go um what questions we need to ask our clients before designing a logo so what i do is generally whenever i have a google meet call to waha pe i have a questionnaire jo main side mein kholta hu mere desktop pe aur ek side pe meeting chalu hai main wo questionnaire fill karta hu main khud hi while discussing with the clients some clients prefer to have the questions before uh, the meeting and they will fill for me thode ko pasand hai ki meeting mein discuss kar lo uh, aamne samne so it's just better and more questions come out that way and this questionnaire i have got it from abiconics website i think it's free or i might have paid it i'm not i don't remember but i i'll put a link down uh to get abiconics questionnaire and if you don't like the questionnaire or if you think it's not working for you wait for some time i'm going to be having my own questionnaire on my website on the designer website so yeah just wait for it because not only questionnaire i want to have many resources like logo design templates how to export your files a separate document i want to have these resources on my website so the work is under construction it's going on but i'm definitely going to have it very soon uh, okay next question is graphic design hard to learn which laptop is best for designers okay so graphic design i would say is not hard to learn it's only how consistent you are it's how uh, dedicated you are into this field because this is not a field where you read a book or you learn something or you watch a video and then you're done that's it you have every knowledge in the world that's not it still till date after being a designer for around 3 to 4 years i am still watching videos i'm still reading books i'm still learning about design there are so many people out there who don't know what principles of designs are so uh, you you have to keep yourself updated because design is an industry which keeps changing literally every year every year there's something new trend coming on that this there's, there's an innovation every single time so you have to keep yourself up to date and open for change and yeah that, that's the advice i would say it's not difficult honestly um you have to be very patient you have to be very consistent and just have to love what you're doing that's all and the sub question to this was which laptop is best for graphic designers so i have made a video actually maine video dala tha thode um i'll just put uh, the link right here or here of the youtube video which um, i had made for uh, graphic designers best laptop what laptop you should buy it's a very in depth video so just you can check that out uh, next question how can i join your team okay so if anyone watching this video wants to work with me and wants to work with designer which is my company um you can actually go to my website waha pe uh, my team likha rahega team likha rahega waha pe if you go niche niche waha pe there's a section join the coolest team of designers if you can if you want to you can just put your application there or you can send an email or you can even reach out on linkedin these are the ways i notice you and then if i like your work or if i like your vibe and if i need a uh, someone so right now last week i hired two designers i am looking for one more person and more than a designer i am looking for 
for a content writer and one manager who let's say can manage my team okay because i am busy with meetings busy with shooting content and all so i need a manager who has a design background if not it's okay but need that person to manage the team so if you're watching this and if you want to apply uh, and be a part of designer then that's the way you should do it okay any suggestion for beginners um i would say try to um not focus so much on tools okay a beginner graphic designer should not focus so much on the tools okay tools so you can learn whenever you want to try focusing on the creativity try focusing on the basis of graphic design if you are something um, and if you want to do freelancing don't be a jack of all trades be a master of one okay if someone says my name उसके बाजू में लोगो डिज़ाइन इज़ अ थिंग बिकॉज आई एम अ लोगो डिज़ाइनर आई टेल पीपल दैट आई एम नॉट अ ग्राफिक डिज़ाइनर आई टेल पीपल आई एम अ लोगो डिज़ाइनर ओके दैट्स हाउ आई हैव पोजिशन माई सेल्फ दैट्स हाउ आई हैव नीच डाउन माई सर्विस सो इट्स इट्स वेरी सी वॉट एवर वर्क फॉर यू बट आई वुड सजेस्ट यू टू नीच डाउन योर सर्विस इफ यू आर अ पैकेजिंग डिज़ाइनर इफ यू स्पेशलाइज ओनली इन कलर्स और ओनली इन टाइपोग्राफी you know uh, you can just say i'm a type designer i'm a typographer i am a packaging designer i um, you know i'm a i'm a color specialist whatever like whatever works for you but try to niche down as much as you can because the more specific you will be in what you do the more you not only learn about that field but the more respect or i would say the more high paying clients you'll get because if someone wants to design a logo they'll only come to me because they know i specialize in that okay there are 100 companies who do logo website social media and everything but me and my company we only do logos so that is why i have niche on my services so we get less clients but we get high paying clients and i mean yeah our head is only at one thing and because we have designed 100 different logos we know how to different how to design other 100 different logos so and i just love logo design so that's one suggestion i would give um design theory is important question mark yes 100% is important um there was a youtube channel also suggested uh, a while ago on my reel um i think uh, design theory was the youtube channel so go and check it out and it's very very important to know the basics of graphic design very important to know what of this foundation is what are the fundamentals what this is all built on so please please do learn about that and focus more on that than learning the tools okay next question how to make our design look better and different from others very very good question so i would say um well it obviously depends on what you are creating let's say you're creating a poster and you want that poster to look very different from other people so do some research okay let's say it's a sports like it's a nike commercial poster okay you are creating just for your personal project which you want to add in your portfolio just make sure you look at every single poster created by nike or by other designers uh, for their personal projects just look at everything look at what's popular look at what trending and have a look at this year what's the upcoming trend agar next year kya trend aa raha hai and have that relatively factor in your poster maybe have it quirky maybe have highlight a serious issue maybe highlight something which nike is trying to promote which is there in their brand core values and to make it different i would say add your own style and personality to it because it's something which is unique to you and if you create repeat that same style in different different projects people will start getting to know you because of that style let's say if you're an artist who only creates artwork in black and white people will whenever they see a black and white artwork they will instantly relate it to you whether or not that style is yours or that that um that design is yours or no so have your own style and it's very difficult i know to get your own style so take inspiration from others and if you're not able to get your own style try different different work okay take inspiration try different styles pop art ho gaye there are so many um i uh, isometric you can uh, make posters only using isometric grids as well so there's so much to explore and i would just say don't copy what other people are doing and what other designs are done on the internet don't open pinterest when you're designing something just do whatever is in your mind which is also not be 100% original because you have seen things before and you have looked at things before so jitna bhi dimag mein hai first put that down on paper then to take inspiration thode thode jagah se 
put it down add your own mirchi masala and just yeah that's how you do it um can you please explain golden ratio for logos yes so golden ratio is a mathematical ratio which you can find almost anywhere like nature architecture painting music when specifically applied to design it creates an organic balanced and aesthetically pleasing composition golden ratio ho gaya golden triangle ho gaya golden rectangle ho gaya golden circles ho gaya these are all ways to make your design look proportional to look balanced and optically correct so you can find golden ratio when you take a longer line and a shorter line let's say the longer line is a and the shorter line is b and you divide a to b the result if you get the result 1.618 dot 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 that will be a golden ratio line basically um this is a fibonacci sequence 1.618 that figure and this is presented everywhere around us right now also when everywhere in the world in the nature in even in man made things even in natural things so yeah this is golden ratio golden ratio is used in typography i'm going to put an example on the screen uh let's say you, you you see this para and the the weight is 20 points of the headline and the height is 12 points of the body text if you divide 20 by 12 you will get 1.618 so that is how golden ratio is used it's basically used to make it optically balanced to make it look nice and and to appear nice in front of your eyes then golden ratio is also used for cropping and resizing images let's say you have this picture of a rose right here now this rose if you see this picture overall the middle point of the rose is janboojh ke cropped and specifically kept at bottom right part of the image because if you see that the golden spiral forms and puts your eyes in the center so this rotation this flow of movement when it happens to your eyes is it what makes this picture more appealing and um as to if this rose ka middle part was in the center that would not have been appealing and not have been proportion so this is how it's used in images and a lot of photographers and even i use it to sort of click pictures and put stories and if you all have noticed then also in layouts um let's say you have your content piece and then you have a sidebar layouts use hota hai for ui ux designers it's very very important rule even the twitter logo has changed but uh, these all logos and there are so many logos which follow the golden ratio fundamental basically jo golden ratio rectangle hai usme se circles ko uh, use karke they have created their pictorial logo and it just makes it well balanced well proportional you can never go wrong by using golden ratio i have myself while designing logos have used golden ratio widely so yeah that is just a short gist on what golden ratio is a uh, future of designer so if you're talking about this uh, abhi ke liye so it's a service based business where we cater to clients we design logos and provide them services uh, later may obviously i have planned something for the future where i need your help so basically if you all know physics wala wo very famous uh, youtube channel i want to make a youtube not only a youtube channel but i want to make this a uh, educational platform for all the designers out there and maine company ka naam aise rakha hai ki it's not logo design or graphic design i have kept the name like this because i can teach fashion design i can teach product design industrial design interior design not i but i can hire people to teach that and create multiple uh, way of uh, putting out education to you guys teaching everyone so it can be an entire academy or it can be an entire um, sort of place where you get education and you learn so much from so that is the later vision abhi ke liye for some time it's going to be client based services and stuff like that because i'm still in college mai khud seekh raha hu and i don't have so much time to create courses and stuff so ek bar mera college khatam ho jaye like it's it's just one year less than a year ek bar college khatam ho jaye then i'm going to like create so much content on youtube i know i'm going slow videos do hafte mein ek bar aa rahi hai but i don't want to stop this also i want to gradually grow on everything and once i have enough time after college is over because almost 4 hours goes the entire day even traveling and all i will do it acche se properly so second last question did you plan your post on instagram while you were while you were starting out uh, no honestly i did not plan anything 
वेन आई वॉज स्टार्टिंग आउट इफ यू गो एकदम नीचे ऑन माई इंस्टाग्राम प्रोफाइल यू वोट सी माई फेस बिकॉज आई नेवर शोड माई फेस इन स्टार्टिंग फ्यू मंथ्स ऑफ मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम आई यूज टू पोस्ट only only uh, typography only logo designs only i can design and after that i shifted to more of topical and trending post let's say agar ganpati vasajan is a ganpati big post bana diya uh, suppose uh, i use mcdonalds i mean mcdonalds ka m use karke main kuch creative post bana diya to show people that how a simple thing can be used extensively and how i can how i use my creativity to show that so wo uh, sab karta tha main and i never used to plan it ki man kiya design kar diya आइडिया आ गया तो पोस्ट करता मैं फोर्स नहीं करता था बिकॉज इफ आई फोर्स माई सेल्फ वो क्रिएटिविटी वहाँ पे थोड़ी अफेक्ट होती है सो दैट्स हाउ आई शार्ट एड आउट ओके लास्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ टू बिल्ड अ पोर्टफोलियो सो यू फाइनली स्टार्ट गेटिंग क्लाइंट्स यार पोर्टफोलियो के लिए बहुत लोग पूछ रहे हैं सो आई एम गोट मेक अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑल टूगेदर बट अभी के लिए आई जस्ट टेल यू क्विकली इफ यू हैव अ पोर्टफोलियो ऑन योर पी डी एफ जस्ट डिलीट इट ओके डोंट डिलीट इट बट टर्न दैट पी डी एफ इन टू अन ओशन फाइल वहाँ पर जाकर यू कैन एक्सपैंड इट एंड गेट अ लिंक एंड हाइपर लिंक विच यू कैन शेयर टू क्लाइंट्स अगर उससे और एडवांस में जाना है क्रिएट अ वेबसाइट क्रिएट अ पोर्टफोलियो वेबसाइट विक्स पे जाओ जस्ट गो ऑन गो डैडी और आई थिंक होस्टिंग और वहाँ जाके जस्ट टाइप आउट योर नेम डॉट कॉम एंड इफ यू हैव इफ यू नो हैव अ पर्सनल ब्रांड और एनी नेम विच यू हैव थॉट ऑफ बाय द डोमेन इट विल बी हार्डली हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड रुपीज अ योर फॉर थ्री ईयर्स एंड देन बढ़ेगा बट invest in that because i have my domain anigen.com since 4 years right now i mean abhi tak website banaya nahi hai but i still have that domain and if i sell that domain right now it will be for 80000 rupees and i bought it for i think 400 rupees so i'm not going to sell it but i'm just telling you that domain agar mai leta nahi anigen.com i think tum log mein se koi le leta and tum log mujhe bechte 1 lakh rupaye mein wo domain so yeah so i i would say honestly portfolio mein uh, make a website make it thoda फन टाइप थोड़ा नॉट अ पी डी एफ यार पीपल आर बोर्ड लुकिंग एट पी डी एफ सेकेंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज ओनली एड थ्री प्रोजेक्ट्स टू अर पोर्टफोलियो बिकॉज रूल ऑफ थ्री इज समथिंग विच एवरी वन इन द वर्ल्ड यूज लाइक इफ यू सी नाइके का टैग लाइन जस्ट डू इट मैकडोनल्ड्स का टैग लाइन आई एम लविंग इट रूल ऑफ थ्री इफ यू सी स्टाबक्स के कप्स तीन होते हैं सो एवरी वे दर इज रूल ऑफ थ्री इन योर प्रोजेक्ट ऑल्सो डोंट गिव दैम फोर फोर इज टू मच डोंट गिव दैम टू टू इज टू लेस गिव दैम थ्री इट्स अ गुड नंबर इन यू नेवर गो रॉन्ग वेदर सो या दैट इज इट गाइज थैंक यू सो मच इफ यू मेड इट दिस फार आई होप दिस वेड यू हेल्प यू इन एनी वे ऑफ दी अदर एंड टेल मी इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर ऑफ दीज थिंग्स एंड अगर मैं कोई क्वेश्चन मिस किया एंड इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जस्ट लेट मी नो द कॉमेंट्स आई ट्राई टू रिप्लाई टू इट ऑल राइट सी इन द नेक्स्ट वन बाय